Algebra 1, number 2.3d. We're talking about addition of rational numbers, and now we're going to talk about the inverse of an inverse. We learned in the last video that every rational number has an additive inverse. Remember, the inverse of 0 is 0, because it doesn't have an opposite to itself, does it? It's right in the middle of the number line. We learned that the inverse of negative 3 is a positive 3. See? They're the opposite across 0 on the number line, and the additive inverse for 2 is negative 2, and vice versa. The additive inverse for po negative 2 is positive 2. They create a 0 pair. It's their opposite on the other side of 0. Together, they create a 0 pair, a pair of numbers that equals 0. That's the additive inverse. We can also have an inverse of an inverse. The inverse of 3 is this minus sign in front of the 3. The inverse of a minus sign in front of a 3 is a minus sign and then the minus sign in front of the 3. Now, this is very confusing, isn't it? But remember, we can read this minus sign in front of the 3 as the inverse of 3. By putting this minus sign before a number or variable, we're saying it's an inverse. If we say inverse instead of negative or minus, we see how the inverse of the inverse of 3 is the inverse of the inverse of 3. Just don't say negative or minus, okay? So, just a little reminder, the additive inverse of two rational numbers whose sum is 0. See? Just two numbers that, when added together, they equal 0. So the property for additive inverses is for each rational number, like a, there's one and only one rational number, negative a, the inverse of a, so that a plus the inverse of a equals 0. Well, the inverse of the inverse of a rational number is itself. The inverse of an inverse of an n brings us back to the n. Wow, kind of confusing, right? All right, so watch. The inverse of the inverse is like the opposite of the opposite. It brings us to the opposite and back to where we started again. So the inverse of the inverse of 3 would be, OK, we're going to start at 3 and see we've got a red minus sign, negative sign in front of this, a red inverse sign. And then we've got a green one, OK? So we're going to start at 3, and we're going to get to the inverse of 3. That's what this says right here, the inverse of 3. So we started at 3, and we got to the inverse of 3, which put us here, like inside the parentheses. And now, to get the inverse of the inverse of 3, we just go back to the 3 again. See? So the inverse of the inverse of 3 is 3. And this is the inverse of 3. As soon as we put another inverse symbol in front of it, it takes us back to the other side. See? And we can find the inverse of the inverse by going back and forth. Just make sure to read that minus symbol, this negative symbol, as the additive inverse of or the inverse of. Don't call it a negative or a minus, OK? Get used to calling it the inverse of, and that'll make your life a lot easier, OK? So if we need to find the inverse of this variable x and the inverse of the inverse of x when x is equal to 14, let's see 14 is positive, well, if x is 14, then the inverse of x is negative 14. It takes us to the other side of 0 on the number line. So they'll make a 0 pair, see? And that is negative 14. It's the same thing. The negative sign in front of the parentheses or without the parentheses is still negative 14. Now, if we want to find the inverse of the inverse of x when x equals 14, that means we're going to have the inverse of the inverse of 14. See? And you know where that's going to take us? Just like we did on this number line right here, it's going to take us back to 14. See? We're going to start at 14. We're going to go to its inverse, which is negative 14. And then we're going to go back to 14 again. See that? All right. Now, 
Let's find the inverse of x and the inverse of the inverse of x when x is the inverse of 2. Well, if x is already the inverse of 2, then the inverse of an inverse of 2 would be written like this, the inverse of the inverse, see? And that would get us back to a positive 2. The inverse of this would be a positive 2, wouldn't it? We'd write it as the inverse of the inverse, but it would be a positive 2. It's the opposite across 0 on the number line, see? Now, the inverse of the inverse of 2, so this is saying the opposite of 2, which is this negative 2, right? If we want the opposite of that, here's what's happening on the number line. We're getting the inverse of the inverse of the inverse of 2. So it's like saying the inverse of the inverse of negative 2. So we start at 2, and we go to this negative 2. Then we go back to the positive 2, and then we go back to the negative 2. See? Because of these three inverse symbols, we went back and forth three times. Now, in video 1.8, we talked about strategy, and we drew a diagram for Bob to climb a rope. And for every five feet he climbed, he slid back down one foot. But if he climbed five feet and slid down five feet, then climbed five feet, it would be the inverse of the inverse. If he was at five feet and he slid down five feet and then went back up five feet, he'd be back to the exact same place. It's like a football player gaining and losing yards on a field. What if a football player gained eight yards on the field and then they lost eight yards, and then they gained eight yards again, they'd be back in the original spot of when he first gained that eight yards, wouldn't they? Okay? So I know this is really, really confusing to some people. It's okay. To see the previous video about additive inverses, if you missed it and just happened upon this video, and you haven't been watching the playlist and following along with each step, you can go into the description of this video and see the previous video's link, okay, for 2.3c, because we're in 2.3d, all right? And that might put some understanding on this video, okay? Because then you'll have seen both of them to make sense, all right? So that's the inverse of an inverse. So we're going to continue on to unit 2.4a, and we're going to talk about subtracting rational numbers, subtracting negative and positive numbers, okay? I'll see you there. Bye.